Some of you love you some trash. The others, not so much. For me, they're some of my favorite kind. Hey guys, Carrie here from 50 Shades of Mom, tips for all shades of mom life. And in today's video, I am back to talk garbage with you guys. So if you guys are new or you're unfamiliar with this kind of video, I like to share with you guys the household products that I've used, personal care items, and a small amount of smelly candles over the last few months and share with you guys my honest opinion of them. I truly love these kinds of videos because I usually find some kind of product that I've never tried before and I fall in love with it and then it becomes my ride or die. So without some of these videos, I think I would be stuck in a rut using some of the same old things I've always been using. But we're gonna start off this time with the household products that I've been using over the last few months. So I think I'm going to start off today with hand soaps just because it's a pretty popular topic right now with everybody washing their hands like crazy. And so the first ones that I want to talk about are the Mrs. Myers ones. I get these from Grove and I really prefer the foaming ones. They have non-foaming ones as well, but I really like the foaming ones. And this is the Plumberry, which is exclusive to Grove. I liked this one, but I don't like it as much as the one that I'm currently using. So I'll show you the one that I'm using right now. It's on empty but it's the one that's actually at my sink and that is this one so I've talked about this one a bunch of times I've only ever seen it at Grove some people said they've seen it other places but I've never seen it in Target or any of the places where they sell Mrs. Meyers products and this is the watermelon foaming hand soap and this one just smells amazing it screams summer it does a good job cleaning and I just like the way my hands feel afterwards I don't get dried out with a million times that I'm washing my hands. Um, so I really recommend this one. So here are some of the ones that are non-foaming. They come in this kind of bottle, which is like the standard hand soap that generally comes in like their entry package. If you just start with Grove and they give you the ones in the entry package, um, these are the ones that usually come in here. And this is the peppermint scent. I love 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 the scent i like all of them mrs meyer's mint ones they have a spring mint and then this is like they're obviously like their christmasy ones so i usually put these like in the downstairs bathroom and by the kitchen sink during christmas time just because all the you know cleaning products and the hand soaps and stuff are cohesive and it just looks good for the holidays but i do really love the scent they have an iowa pine and then a orange clove or something like that for Christmas time also and I don't like them but I do recommend the peppermint but again these are just the regular pump tops not the foaming and I do prefer the foaming but these are the only way way that they carry like the holiday scent so I grab them we had this one downstairs in the downstairs bathroom too this was acorn spice I'm really glad I had it in the downstairs bathroom because I don't use that bathroom often. I usually come upstairs to my bathroom in my room because I did not really like this scent. It was a new scent. It might have even been a Grove exclusive and I did not like it at all. I can't even remember like what it really smelled like. I'm sure woodsy, but I didn't like it. Yeah, it just smells like, I don't know. No, not a fan. I'd say no to the acorn spice, just mm -mm, not good. But I did like the smell of this one and I was really, really excited to use it. I got it a long, long time ago and this is the Real Simple brand and I love this brand, but I've discovered recently a few things or products that I'm not a huge fan of. And this was very thin. So this is the Italian lemon oil and it smelled so good when I just opened the container and sniffed it, but it was thin. Like if you would squirt it, like your hand would have to be so far away from this thing because it would just squirt all over the place. It was absolutely crazy. It was so watery that it just, I felt like what, how it sprayed into your hand and stuff was wasteful. So I like the smell, but I wouldn't purchase this one again. I want to break into a few of the things I use to clean my toilet, just because no matter what 
organic or all natural cleaning supplies that I switch to, I still absolutely love my scrubby bubbles when it comes to certain things. And these are the scrubby bubbles, fresh gel, like the little inserts. So you squeeze this little container that it shows you here and it puts a little dollop on the inside of the toilet. And every time you flush, it like refreshes the scent and you get eight dots in there like so eight separate times or eight toilets however you want to use it so I have three bathrooms in the house so when we clean bathrooms you know this only lasts two and a half times um, doing a round of bathrooms but I absolutely love it and I keep coming back to it because it still smells like this a week later like I feel like it really does last a really really long time I'm still scraping off the old one when I'm cleaning the toilet and it's just really refreshing and it really just keeps like the stench out of the toilet so I really recommend that and then this is what I use to clean them. I think I'm gonna have to buy a new brush, but I haven't bought a new brush in years. I think I finally snapped the handle from like applying pressure too hard. These toilets have really hard surfaces to scrape into because the water's so hard here. So you definitely have to use a little bit more elbow grease cleaning these toilets than I did in Carolina. So I think I'm pushing on my handle a little bit too much and I think I snapped it. But this is the new scent that I tried just recently, like the citrusy one. I used to get just the plain fresh scent, like what the insert was. But this is the citrus kind and I just love these. It has a little handle. It has this little, you know, pad that you put right there on the end and all the cleaning stuff comes out while you swoosh it on the inside and clean your bowl. And there's 10 in here. So that's like three plus rounds of cleaning all three toilets. So I definitely get my use out of these and I love them. But before I use that pad, I go around the toilet inside one time with some kind of cleaner. And I tried the seventh generation one and I like it, but I don't think I like it as well as the other one. Now I forget the one that I'm using right now. No, I think this, no, no, no. I'm using the method one right now and this is the one that I like better. So out of the two of the more like all natural kind of cleaning inside toilet guys, I like this one, the seventh generation one. So this is the one that I have back in my cart right now and I'm not gonna get the Method one. As much as I love my Method products, I'm not a huge fan of that cleaning one. But this normally has, it's gone, we threw it away. But because once I'm done with it, I don't even keep it for empties because you know, what if it touches the inside of the toilet bowl, but it has the angled head and the nozzle that you squeeze underneath the rim and then you just let this sit for a little while and then I use those pads to clean the inside. But I like this stuff and it smells good and it does a good job for especially the hard water stains in here. Um, like I said, way better than the Method ones. Um, I do have other scrubby bubbles stuff, but not for inside the toilet. My dogs will drink out of it sometimes sometimes and so if of course because I have kids who don't shut the lid so I try to use more like this on the stuff that I clean the inside of the bowl with just in case there's any remnants and then the dogs end up drinking it but then again I guess I have that little thing that you flush and that would get in the water too hey you know what I don't know you guys I have a tremendous amount of toilet paper trash and I never have that because I am a Scots girl and I don't even have the regular Scots to show you because at one point I was only able to get the Scots Comfort Plus, which I'm not really a big fan of as much as I love the Scots. It's still a little bit thicker and I just don't like that. I feel like the thicker um, toilet paper clogs the toilets, uh, especially with my kids using wads and wads. And I grew up with my parents with a cesspool for the last 10 years when I lived in the Clover House and now here it's not a cesspool, it's sewer. So it's a little bit different uh, for my parents. They were always so conscious about like no feminine products, the kind of toilet paper that we use that was more bio degradable would break down better for you know the inside of a cesspool because those things fill up but um, I didn't really like this one so if I could avoid it I'm not gonna purchase this one again they just had a really good deal at Walgreens and I did pick up a package because it ended up being like 12 for three dollars which I thought was a good deal but um, for the most part I, I, I wasn't really a huge fan of this so I probably won't use that again but believe it or not I didn't mind this one from the Dollar Tree so you got four 
rolls of toilet paper and the one pack for a dollar and I didn't really mind them because even though they're two ply it's from the Dollar Tree so it's not like two ply two ply so it's kind of like an in-between and I liked that so in a pinch I would grab the toilet paper from the Dollar Tree because I didn't think it was that bad it goes super quick because there's not a lot on the roll I just didn't think it was bad for my liking um, and then this one is Angel Soft I know a lot of people use Angel Soft or they like Angel Soft I didn't think it was so bad definitely not my favorite for like two ply paper to um toilet paper again i'm not a huge two ply but it wasn't awful i could use this one again if i had to but i think believe it or not my all-time favorite was the seedling brand from grove now you guys know i rep grove all the time this is not a sponsored video or anything although my link is always in the description box if you guys want to try grove for the first time but this toilet paper was amazing and i say that because we have discovered in this house that my kids like the two-ply toilet paper even just to wipe on their bum they all said oh mom I love the new toilet paper when we switched it up and that made me laugh a lot that everybody noticed and so I am just like I said grew up on that one ply my whole life and so I really enjoyed this toilet paper because this was a great compromise for everybody so if this comes back in stock I know it's been going in and out of stock on Grove just because toilet paper and paper products right now are still a hot commodity but if you can get them snag them because this is seriously and this is my heartfelt opinion this is not for loving grove this has been my favorite toilet paper like i would get this i don't know if i would get it over scott yeah you know maybe i would because it's a compromise for my whole family i think i would even get this over scott's and i never thought i would say that so thumbs up to grove for kind of uh moving me over to the double ply side of the toilet paper world but the seedling brand was amazing so last but not least when it comes to like the toilet bowl kind of stuff um i have some flushable wipes these are the ones from kirkland's these came as a recommendation from you guys and i really liked them uh every time i mention my flushable wipes someone always writes me and says like don't use them they're really really bad for flushing and for your cesspools and stuff um but again i think it's a little bit different when you have sewage and not cesspools and as far as the pipes here, I asked my landlord if these were okay, and he said flush away. Um, so I thought that that was, you know, great. I never had a problem in South Carolina, and we always used these, and we also had sewage there. So again, I don't know if that makes a big difference. My dad told me when I stay in New York that I cannot use these because of his cesspool and his pipes, the way that they work. He prefers I don't use the flushable wipes. And we actually already had a problem like a few summers ago when Jake went being used to using them and my parents ended up having a cesspool issue with him there because he was flushing the wipes and it wasn't good for them but so far Carolina and here we've been in luck and these were a great deal the last time I went to Costco they were out of them um, but I'm hoping that they'll be back in stock the next time I go because I think by the next time I'll need to repurchase them but this box lasted a really long time and they were really really good for the price all right, now on to like some cleaning products. So I only have one like dish detergent to show you and this is the plain old regular Dawn and this was something that Marissa gave to me when we were moving into the scammed house and she like brought me over that care package. This is some of the stuff she brought me and it was this Dawn Platinum, which to be honest, when it comes down to like a good dish soap, this stuff is the bomb, um, so I really like it. Right now we're using the Dawn Platinum Spray-On, and I'm only using that for like the dishes that we're hand washing, and we're leaving sit for a little while, and it smells like green apple, and it's so, so good. So I definitely recommend that Spray-On one if you can find it, and I recommend this one, but we're also using, I got like a big giant one from Grove, one of the like seasonal ones. I think it was the pomegranate one. We still have just a little bit of that left, and I also have, at my sink the end of a mrs myers like the green mint one but this i recommend but that dawn spray on platinum if you can find it snag it and of course if you're talking dishes i always have to talk about my ultra shine dish tablets so many of you have been converted by me to using these they come from the dollar tree it actually is a tiny bit cheaper to get the ones from costco they end up being like 87 cents a piece as opposed to these being 10 cents a piece uh sorry 8.7 
uh, 8.7 cents a piece as opposed to these being 10 cents a piece. Um, but I always go to the Dollar Train enough that I just pick up a few of these for a couple bucks every time. And so I've never had to spring for the big one at Costco because I always have an abundance underneath my sink. So I don't know if I'll actually ever switch just because I still don't think this is a bad price. 10 for a dollar and I think that they work great. But these are just the regular Greenbrier brand like Dollar Tree's brand. Um, but for a dollar for 10 packs, I love them. So these are some of the cleaners that I use to clean my surfaces, although I haven't gone through as much of this as I normally would because I have an antibacterial anti one that I got for like 97 cents or something at HEB, maybe a month or a month and a half ago, and that's the one I've been strict about wiping down my countertops that my groceries touch and wiping down my grocery containers like the milk and stuff like that. That's why I redid my pantry just recently because I wanted to take like, you know all the pastas out of boxes and all that stuff although I use the antibacterial to wipe it down um it's still I wanted everything like out of those kinds of things so this I've only been using for mild cleaning because I'm disappointed that this really doesn't have an antibacterial factor it's more just a clean and I never noticed that because I've been obsessed with these and I get them all the time from Grove in the sets for the holiday seasons all the seasonal scents I love so much and so I always end up using these but they weren't doing me any justice and then I started to think about wow well if it's not antibacterial when I was wiping down my counters after meats and stuff like I really wasn't doing a good job of cleaning and that bothers me because I always loved these and relied on them until this whole corona thing hit and I started thinking more about the bacteria form of it and then I realized like I just need to use these for like surface cleaning. So this is the Spiced Pumpkin. I did not like this one. I kept it in the bathroom that was downstairs here. And whenever I cleaned the downstairs bathroom, I would use the Spiced Pumpkin one. It's been in there since like November-ish. So it took me, you know, all that time to fill, to empty this bottle, but I only used it, like I said, too, when I cleaned in there, but I was not a fan. That's the only reason why I used it in there. I didn't like it on my inside surfaces because I didn't think it was that good, but this is the mint one that I love. So this is the dish soap scent that's at my sink right now, and this is the, you know, regular spray cleaner that I was using in like the regular surfaces in the kitchen and stuff like to wipe down the bottom of the coffee pot and stuff or whatever the inside of the microwave but love 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 this and the scent is so good. So speaking of scents last thing before laundry I got this from Grove not too long ago. This is a bottle of their room refresher so they send you like a glass bottle and then you pour this whole thing into the glass bottle and then you fill it with water. This is their grapefruit and a lemon peel and I thought it was just going to be more citrusy than it was and again you guys know I love Grove and I talk so highly about them and I rave about them but this is something I'm going to say I don't or didn't love. Now they have an awake um, oil like an essential oil that I put in my diffuser that's citrusy and that stuff's bomb like I had that in my diffuser yesterday so I really really love it um, but this I really wouldn't recommend I like the room spray bottle I like the way it sprays and so when I'm out of it I'll definitely try a new one of these but I didn't really like this scent so last but not least, we're going to talk some laundry and here is the Gain fabric softener that I have and this is the one that I got from like the regular store and it's okay. This is the Island Fresh. I do love my Gain fabric softener, but I really miss BJ's because Costco doesn't carry it and I really like this one and this is the one that's concentrated a little bit more and this is like the giant jug one and I've been saving it you can see it's like dripped on the side because I always take ones like this kind and I pour it inside of here um, but it's this one says ultra concentrated do you see that and then these ones don't say it they say ultra but they don't say ultra concentrated anywhere and I definitely feel like it's not the same this is a little thinner this is definitely thicker and I feel like it does a better job I still need the vinegar to remove the film that fabric softener leaves but I still liked the scent of it but this is probably the last you're gonna see of these 
these. I mean, that's why I'm even getting rid of my big jug um, because I got the Method one and I really like it. The one that's going to go with the dryer sheets I'm about to show you. Uh, I've not ever tried that one before and um, it's really, really awesome. So the only thing that would convert me is if Brazil came out with a fabric softener and then I think I would be... I would change it up. Speaking of Persil, this, you guys, is the best laundry detergent ever on the planet, and that is the Intense Fresh. I'm so grateful for Walmart that they took back the Persil that I got because I once grabbed the wrong one, and if it doesn't say Intense Fresh on it, don't even waste your time buying it because it doesn't smell good. Like, the only one that smells good is this one. I've tried them, it doesn't work. It's, I mean, it get your, gets your clothes clean, but I'm about smell, and I like when things smell so fresh and clean. So this is like, you guys, trust me, just trust me. If you've never tried it, try it. Come back and tell me you're converted. I promise you, you will be. So here are the Method dryer sheets, and this is in the Ginger Mango scent. So this is a scent that I'm using for the fabric softener. I did not use all of these in that length of time. I think I had like a half a started box, and then we went through a full one, and I took the little bit that I have left and just added it to the new box so that I can get rid of it. So I have two. We don't normally use this many dryer sheets. In that amount of time but I really like these and these are the ones that are made of paper and they're like biodegradable and everything but they stop the static which is all that matters to me and I'm not using like the chemical based one so definitely try these if you haven't tried them and last on the laundry train is a drift and believe it or not I've been using this since Maya we don't usually use like a lot of stain remover it took me like this long to go through it but maybe I got it for like my shower or maybe I went through one after that and this is something I got after but it works and so we just kept using it whenever we had stains on our clothes and now we're officially out of it and I have a method stain remover that I'm really liking but for right now uh, we're out of this and I highly recommend this but if you don't have a baby in the house or you're not um, you don't need to do anything that's like less chemically treated there are you know other ones out there that you guys can try but if you have a baby in the house and you're looking for something that's a little bit less abrasive I definitely recommend this I like this one a lot so as far as our personal care items we're gonna talk about hair stuff first and so I always have tons of detangling spray and stuff from couponing. Uh, unfortunately, this is the last of my Pantene, which seems to work the best on my kids' hair. I don't like to use Pantene anymore unless it's the Gold Series, which is the better for your hair products. This is one of those ones I got like a while back. Um, again, that was like really good price on coupon, but I try my best to kind of stay more on the Gold Series if I'm going to get Pantene. We are using one that I got in the Fat Fit Fun box, I think, during Christmas time, and we're half through that that Maya seems to like, but this stuff really works the best in both of our hair, and I'm sure it's just the crap that Pantene puts into it but for hair conditioning spray uh, I really love it um, this stuff works really good it definitely detangles our hair especially now with the water being so crappy here this really just adds that like extra condition that we need when we get out of the shower so if you guys are looking for a good detangling spray and you don't mind that your hair falls out from using it I would get this speaking of your hair falling out that's like the perfect entryway to show the box of the crown hair fibers so I just did a video on how I mask the thinning part of my hair up top when I'm filming and stuff and going out in public and it's these hair building fibers and I've been using Topic um, but this was a cheaper version of that that I just tried and someone said oh you didn't even mention in your review which one you like better and I like the crown better. I think I liked the fact that it was a little lighter on my hair and it's half the cost. So if it's half the cost, I'm going to like it a lot better. But if you guys go to that video and you have issues with thinning hair and you're looking for something to hide that and you think these hair building fibers would work, there are so many comments of people on there who say, oh, I have the same issue, but I use this instead and it's $10. Or I use this and I love it and it's this. And so there's so many great ideas. So if you have that issue, go to that video. I'll link it up above and down below you guys can go and check it out but go take a look at all of the comments because so many people have suggestions and these hair fibers are amazing 
So let's talk some shampoos and stuff, and I don't keep all of them. I try my best, but I would have garbage everywhere with the amount of people that are in the house. But one of the brands that we love that I got so much during couponing is the Garnier Fructis. I love this stuff, and it's the fortifying shampoo and conditioner in the apple extract. Like, I love apple. I love that scent. Um, so this was really, really good. This is what I used in my shower. It takes me a while to go through shampoo and conditioner because I I only wash my hair like twice a week uh, just especially now it's getting worse and worse um, but this stuff the grow strong I felt like really kept my hair looking healthy a bunch of you guys were commenting like what are you using on your hair this is what I was using so I really liked this stuff and then these are the shampoos that I was using on the kids. So this is a um, Midnight Kisses shampoo. It's the Nicole Guerrero, the limited edition OGX like holiday special shampoo. This was supposed to be like really hard to find and she had various different scents. There was one I really wanted. I don't remember what it was, sugar cookie or something, but I was never able to find it and I wasn't even able to find the matching conditioner. Only this and I think it was on clearance at Target. So I picked it up and used it on the kids. I thought it was really good. Maya dumped a chunk of it down the drain trying to make bubbles, but it smelled like roses. So I don't think I would have liked to use it on myself, but it seemed suiting for the kids. But I like the scent of a fresh rose, but I don't like the rose concentrated scent. So I don't think I would have liked this on myself, but it worked good for Maya and for her. Like I said, it smelled appropriate. And then this is the Love Beauty and Planet Coconut Water and Mimosa Flower Conditioner. And this stuff is amazing, you guys. I really like a lot of the Love Beauty and Planet products and they've only just been right up and coming and rising over the last few years and i have a bunch of stuff still that i couponed of theirs and stuff that i got as gifts and i think maybe like when i did a box swap once with madison she gave me a bunch of this stuff and then i couponed some at cvs so i have a bunch of their products but i really like them and if you get an opportunity to try them uh, i would they're like a very they're more on the organic side of the product line so they can get a little pricey if you don't watch for a sale but so so good something else of the ogx brand and this is the refresh and restore coconut miracle oil dry shampoo so i usually use a dry shampoo just because again i don't wash my hair but every like three days or so and so on that third day if i'm going to do some kind of filming or something or if i'm going to go out i mean again going out and stuff is not uh, as apropos lately, but that's why I only have one um, of these to share. Normally I have a bunch, but we're not really going anywhere or doing anything, so I don't need to rely on it as much. But uh, I do like to use this just to absorb a little bit in, of the oils in my hair, but those natural oils actually end up being better. I notice, like if I shower sooner and wash my hair because I've exercised and like my hair is sweaty or something like that, I notice how different the texture is then than I would if I wait and let my natural oils like into my hair and then wash it. Um, but needless to say, this extra strength uh, OGX brand is one of the ones that I like. I still think that Batiste is up there with some of my favorite, but this one I really do like. I like a lot of the OGX hair products. So definitely give this one a try if you're looking for a good dry shampoo. You guys probably don't see a lot of hairspray in my empties because it takes me forever to go through this. But this is the Aussie Instant Freeze hairspray, like the pump kind. I actually prefer aerosol. I think when I went for this, they didn't have aerosol. This is something I got couponing. I don't really know, but I don't wear my hair much curly anymore. I feel like you can tell where my scalp is thinning when I wear my hair curly. I prefer to wear it straight because then I can kind of flip it over and style it in a way where maybe it's not as noticeable. I can use those hair building fibers. They don't stick as well like with my curly hair. I don't know. So I don't use this that often, but since they've been home, like I would just get out of the shower, throw a little bit of this in my hair so that I wasn't a hot frizzy mess and then not blow dry it or do anything with it. So I kind of think I finished this off to Corona, um, but I still recommend all the Aussie kind of hairsprays and stuff. Like they smell so good. And if something smells good and it's a hair product or something, like I'm all about it. So definitely recommend Aussie, all Aussie, love it. 
So now I'm going to share with you guys like the hair masks that I use. And I have a lot of these Hask brand um, because these are the ones I've been able to get at the Dollar Tree for like a dollar. So I get have a lot of these because I absolutely love them and I get a couple of uses out of them. So it creates some decent longevity. So I think I have maybe three of those. Yeah, all three of these are the Hask one. So this is the coconut oil one. It's one of my favorites. It's for moisturizing and revitalizing. And I always feel like I need that because my hair is dry um, at the tips and stuff, especially since I don't get a haircut very often. So I recommend this one. I like the coconut oil. This orchid one though, I was not a fan of. This is orchid and white truffle. I wasn't really a fan of the smell. It's for rehydrating and adding shine for dry and damaged hair. I thought I would like it better for my hair but I don't think it really did a very good job and I don't feel like it smelled very good so I didn't really like that one but then this is one of my favorites just the plain old yellow argan oil this one it reminds me of like a vo5 hot oil treatment what it does to my hair is just so so good um, so I really recommend this and this I think I fell in love with these by doing a Target Beauty box and um, getting like the actual oil that I put in my hair from Hask and I loved it. So I like those. And then these Freeman ones I found at the Dollar Tree and this is the Smoothing Jojoba Oil Hair Mask. This was okay. I didn't like the smell again. So if it doesn't have a good smell, I'm usually like eh, but it did okay for my hair. So if it smelled better, I would have liked it better. Um, but I would still take the Hask over that. And then this was the Garnier Fructis one, which I thought I was going to really like because I love all the Garnier Fructis stuff. And this is the Damage Repairing Treatment One Minute Hair Mask and the Papaya Extract. I think I have another one of these too somewhere in my bin, but I did not like this. It was like pouring water through my hair. It just didn't do anything. So this says like no silicones and no parabens and all of that, which I usually like that. But for whatever reason, like this one just like wasn't strong enough to do what it needed to do to my hair. So wasn't really a fan of that one either. So now we're going to talk a body care and if you want to talk like favorites this will always be one of my favorite of the body care stuff ever and this is the raw sugar. I love 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 this brand. Now this is the body wash and the vanilla bean and sugar. It's very light on the scent so if you like something that is very light on the scent but still clean uh, I would recommend this one. I like the lemon sugar. It literally smells like an Italian ice and I feel like I smell that on my skin afterwards and I love that. It's fresh and clean um, but this is the cold pressed pure technology. The stuff is so so good. It's an all natural product and I really really love it. Um, and I have like so many of these little bottles and stuff and I've bought like big bottles and you can find it at Target. I've done their bath bombs. Their scrubs are awesome, but I love raw sugar. I have a lot of their products in my Amazon storefront under personal care because I love the raw sugar. So I would give them a try. And then I also have like a little Mrs. Myers body wash in the honeysuckle. I use this on the kids and I love the smell of the honeysuckle and this was one of the better body washes. I've used a few other body washes from Mrs. Myers and didn't like them but this wasn't so bad. Again maybe because I was using it on the kids but they seemed to like it so I had that for them and then a body wash though that I did not like was this. So this was the common clean. I don't know if this came in the FabFitFun or if this was in the cause box. I did like two of those kind of boxes during Vlogmas and I'm not sure this came out of one of them, but it smelled awful, you guys. And it is a daily cleansing ritual with lavender oil, Epsom salt body wash. And I just, I, uh, I couldn't wait to get rid of it. Um, I'm one of those people who like waste not want not. So I was like taking a little bit of this raw sugar and pouring it in my hand and then pumping this into it and kind of using this as like a scent booster. But I said this one's kind of light. So it wasn't really overpowering this that much. Oh my goodness. Not really, like really a fan. Uh, so much so that I even used some of my husband's soap. He's using the Dove Men Care Extra Fresh. I don't normally like include them and this kind of stuff because unless I have them give their opinion I don't really speak on their behalf but I can speak on this because I've used it in the shower right now because I feel like I needed to put a scent over that stuff that I really wasn't liking and this was pretty good. My husband always likes the 
oh my goodness, what is he like? Oh, oil of Olay. He's such a pansy when it comes to his soap, but he's been using that forever. And he likes the bar soap and he likes the oil of Olay extra moisturizing. Like that's his favorite. But I asked him like, hey, I really like this. What did you think? And he said that for like a men's kind of soap and he usually wasn't a fan of Dove, he liked it. So I would give this one a try. I got these stupid cheap couponing also. So I had this for a really, really long time and it was something I was supposed to use for myself. But to be honest, I do not take baths and with this water right now where I am I probably would not soak in it but my kids love to do their bath bombs and so I finally caved and let them do my unicorn one and I gave it to them in two pieces because this thing is like do you see that it almost looks inappropriate like it is huge um, and so um, I let my kids do it like in two separate sittings and it was blue and a pink swirl um, and it only like foamed in the bathtub a little bit I think this was more of like a novelty than an amazing bath bomb but the other bath bomb like my kids do a bath bomb at least once a week but I can't even share them like with you because it's the wrapper you get from the Dollar Tree and you practically have to like dissolve the paper to get the thing off like by the time you peel it there's like nothing left to show you and then I also have a few from Walmart that came in like a big kit I got after Christmas sale like for five dollars I got 12 of them or something and I was going to break them apart to use them for gifts but I end up using them for the kids but again it's like a very thin sheet of plastic over that bath bomb so by the time you like rip it apart to get it out I don't have anything to show you but this was like sturdy enough uh, to show you but the kids just thought it was more a novelty like I don't really think it did too much for the water and then uh, last but not least back to something that is amazing from Grove is their hand sanitizing spray in the blood orange of course like I have hand sanitizer stuff to share with you guys because I love this and I had a bunch of these on hand when all of this went down which I think was great because they always send this as like free gifts and stuff and so I always had a bunch of these on backup which was amazing because we were able to just pull out all the sanitizers we already had and we never really ran out here so I thought that was really good um, and I really like this one and it's like a travel one for your bag but the blood orange smell smells amazing and I like the concept of the sprit. Oh, it's got a little in there still. Yes, it's probably still in the like in the um little nozzle and stuff, but it's more like a spray on kind and then that's it. You just wipe. So it's definitely drier. It's not drippy like the regular kind of sanitizer, but I mean this stuff's like gold right now. So if you pop on Grove, try yourself some of this for sure. So last we're on to teeth things and I always talk about how much I don't like Colgate and verse like crest and then whenever I do something someone always says like I hate crest I like Colgate so that's why I like these videos because you get an opportunity to get somebody else's perspective on certain things but this is the Colgate sensitive complete protection this stuff was awful I had a travel one that I think I started maybe I started this when I went to visit my mom and then I just finished it out when I got home and the stuff was like I was gagging I just couldn't wait for it to be done and I'm such a weirdo I won't just throw it out or whatever like I have to finish it but it was awful and I hated it um, and now I'm back to using my Crest Complete this is the uh, one with the scope I don't like the green as much as I like the blue because I don't like winter green I like peppermint um, but the still mint one isn't bad and it just happened to be the next one that I grabbed I have like a crap load of toothpaste from couponing and stuff but it's amazing how much I just like Crest toothpaste better I like the way it feels in my mouth I like the way that it tastes I feel like I have minty breath afterwards and I don't feel like I'm struggling with the taste like to get it out of my mouth like it just makes me feel like I chewed gum uh, where the rest of them I don't really feel like that so this is definitely my favorite toothpaste or at least the brand so last but not least we're gonna just do my candles and I actually don't have a lot of them you'll notice that when it comes into the warmer months I generate away from the candles I feel like candles are more of a cozy thing I still light them I still have some to share and I had a lot more of these little kind of ones but right when this corona stuff started happening marissa had a friend who was like repurposing the jars and doing a project with them so she asked if i had any of these and what was i gonna say no so i gave her like six of them 
that I had from my empties bag and left it on the porch for this girl to come by and pick up to use for her project. So I would have had a little bit more of those, um, but I don't. Um, but one thing I always have is my little bulbs. I recently just got a Glade warmer in the, um, like a little Mother's Day bag that Walmart gave me. And you guys all said to give those oils a try and that they're really, really good. Uh, I've been living off of the Bath & Body Works ones for a long time. I have the holders in every room, every bathroom, and I feel like their stuff, if you choose the right ones, are very strong, but I always appreciate your guys' recommendations. So you tell me if you've used the Glade ones, if they're better than these. I'm sure they're cheaper. I don't know, but I'm curious to get your guys' feedback on that. Um, but this one is the Watermelon Lemonade. Absolutely, hands down, one of the best candles, scents, any kind of thing you can purchase for watermelon lemonade, get it. Uh, it's a wonderful, wonderful citrusy kind of summery, springy, all, all year round scent. I love it. And the notes are watermelon ice, sparkling water, and Meyer lemon. And that one is so good. And then this one was the perfect Christmas. I'm going to read the notes on it to see if I remember what I felt about this one. Fresh cut pine, cinnamon sugar, and toasted marshmallow. Oh yeah, this is the one that we had in the toy room up here. This one smells like Christmas. Legit. I don't even know if it's because it's the sweetness of the sugar and the marshmallow and and then the pine tree like undertone but it smelled like Christmas morning like the perfect Christmas like really speaks to its name but I have a lot of these kind of Christmassy scents I hope you guys don't mind but they're from Christmas so I just I have them uh, next up is a thousand wishes this is probably in my top five of all time scents and it is sparkling champagne crystal peonies and almond cream now I don't really like the smell of peonies but I feel like the champagne and the almond cream is what is more dominant in the thousand wishes so it's probably why I like it a lot but I love this one especially for the body care and this one was the island margarita and as much as I love myself a margarita I didn't really like this one so this one was sweet mandarin island mango and sea salt so the mandarin and the mango mixed together I don't know with the salty waves I didn't get the margarita vibe I was downstairs in the downstairs bathroom it was all right but I wouldn't purchase this one again but now this one, the Tiki Mango Mai Tai. This is fresh mango nectar, exotic jasmine, and sun-kissed grapefruit. This one was very good. The grapefruit and the mango together made like a really delicious scent. So I liked this one a lot. This one is a coconut lime breeze and it's a zesty lime lemon verbena and sheer coconut. And this one was good, but I like the smell of coconut lime, but not as overwhelming as it could be and I just felt like this was the kind of coconut lime that I didn't like. I mean I would purchase it again but I didn't think it was amazing like I expected it to be. This one is a praline pecan and cream. This one is holy cow you guys. This one is apples, chestnut, and whipped buttercream. This one is so good. It like reminds me of what I think Paula Dean would smell like. It is just so 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 good like a real southern feel to it i liked this one like a lot not as much as this one though this is the berry waffle cone sweet berries waffle cone and creamy vanilla that waffle cone comes through in this like whoa and mixed with the berries and stuff it's really really delicious i find this one to be something that you walk into the room and you want to eat the air it reminds me of cold stones what cold stones smells like if you've walked in there <sighs> when can we go back out in public and go get ice cream so this one is a pineapple mango and the notes on this are fresh pineapple, juicy mango and vine ripened raspberry, which sounds like it would be amazing. It was good. It smelled tropical, but I think it could have been a little bit better. I don't feel like all the notes came through. It just gave me like a tropical vibe, but I was really looking for the pineapple in it or the mango in it and the raspberry in it. And I couldn't really grab hold of any of it. 
And the last of the wallflowers is the Spiced Apple Toddy. I thought I had more Christmas ones than I had. Uh, this one is Warm Apple Brandy, Tart Cranberry, and Cinnamon Stick. And I liked this in a wallflower. I do not like this candle. I feel like as a candle, it was very overwhelming, but as the wallflower, it was really good. So a lot of these are duds, and I'm just going to go right into what was a dud. So is this the one? Yeah. This is one of the Dollar Tree ones that we're knocking off as the coffee candles. And I thought these were going to be good and they just weren't as good as I thought they were going to be. So this is the Old Williamsburg Cafe a Lot or however you say that one. Um, you know, they make it look cute, like the little coffee cup and stuff. It's cute for a gift, but the throw on this one was not that good. Um, it was better on this one. This is the hazelnut cappuccino in the same line. Uh, this one had a little bit of a larger throw, but nothing beats the original coffee candles, and they're trying to recreate them, but they made them. So why don't you just recreate them? I don't understand, but they're trying to do something different each time, and it's not working like nothing as good as the original. Now, Old Williamsburg also has these ones, and I had a bunch of these that are like the old style, and this is the Autumn Apricot. Okay, this one burned awful. Do you see how bad that that burned? Like, do you see that? Um, that you, I hate the ones that you could put back on the shelf, and almost nobody would know that you burned it. Um, it has a great smell on cold sniff, but it just no throw. And obviously that was a waste for even for your dollar to get like a partial burn like that. Now I didn't show you guys that these ones, you get your money's worth for your burn. Like even if you just want it for ambiance and you got like a hot date night or something and you just want to pick these up, like you can't beat that for a dollar. Cause I mean, there's nothing left in there. It's dust in that candle. I mean, I mean, you can almost see through it. Might as well just drink out of it uh, when you're done. And the other one was, not as burned but pretty darn close there to the bottom let's rip that off i mean you're still kind of getting your money's worth for the burn of those but that apricot one that was almost a waste now the cinnamon cinnabon one this one burned all the way down and you can tell the difference like this had a great throw it burned well like even the inside of the cap still smells fairly strong even after the candle's been completely burned. Better for small spaces, a small kitchen space, or again, more for ambiance. Um, but I've been quite disappointed with the old Williamsburg lately. But this one, I can't be disappointed with. Again, I said watermelon lemonade, if anything, is good. And this is the old Williamsburg one that is pretty darn close to the Bath & Body Works one. And it burns pretty well. There's not much left in the jar like the smell is incredible the throw is incredible just the color alone makes it pretty to set out but i recommend this one now this one's from the star candle company and it's the spice tea toddy i do not like this one and the star has been surprising me lately some of the scents that i didn't think would ever be good because usually their candles aren't have been quite surprising but this really wasn't it fell a little flat but I love the marbleization of the jar and definitely something you can use to repurpose for multiple reasons um this comes right off it's you know with a peeled sticker um but I love the jar the look of the jar I think that's really nice um but the last one I have to show you and I'm excited to show you is the unicorn sprinkles this is actually one that Jake got me as a Christmas present. I mean, I bought it during the candle sale, sale, but he paid me for it. He wanted to be the one to give me the special unicorn sprinkles one, just because he knows how I feel about unicorns. And the notes on this one say fluffy cotton candy, rainbow candy drops, and sugared lemon with essential oils. I almost don't want to throw this away or I've contemplated like throwing the candle away but keeping the cap so I can continue to like it just smells so amazing I don't know if it's the rainbow candy drops mixed with the lemon I don't get so much cotton candy but it just reminds me of like I don't know I get blueberry if like blueberry shortcake was a thing, this is what I feel like it would smell like. I don't know. Maybe that's the rainbow part of it. I just would come into the room and just 
be overtaken by the smell of this. I don't even know if that's the right phrase to use, but it would just, it really would blow me away. I had it lit in the little area between the kitchen and the living room. And if you just came down the stairs, if you came in through outside, anywhere you just entered that room, the throw was amazing. This house is not very big, so it doesn't take a lot for one of these good Bath & Body Works ones to just take over downstairs. And this just, I had a pineapple mango one burning on the other ledge and you couldn't tell because it's just dominated by this unicorn sprinkle. So the next time you guys place a Bath & Body Works order and you haven't gotten one of these, or hey, if you wanna get one, uh, I'm always up for takers. <laughs> just kidding, don't send me one. But I love, love, love them. And like I would collect them over and over again and burn them everywhere. Even the packaging with the iridescent is on point, like love, love, loved it. All right, you guys, so that's it for another empties video. I hope you guys enjoyed, and if you did, make sure to give it a big thumbs up. I now have to go fill my recycling bin. My recycling bin always hates me after I film an empties because I dump a whole pile of crap into it. So now I have to go pick all this stuff up, but I hope you guys enjoyed. I love you guys all so much, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye, guys.